the way that people treat you is how they feel about you. I'm going to say it again. The way that people treat you is how they feel about you. Don't get me wrong. You are going to learn a lot about people and their character and their personality the more time you spend with them. But there are so many of you out here and you are currently in a situation where you keep getting the short end of the stick in a friendship or different friendships you have with people. You keep getting the short end of the stick in that relationship you're in with a particular guy or girl. You keep getting treated a certain type of way by people that you are helping or people that you work with. Whatever situation you're in, you better understand and you better know that people truly are treating you the way that they feel about you. I'm not talking about people making mistakes. I'm not talking about people not being perfect because none of us are perfect and all of us makes mistakes. But if you have consistently been treated a certain way by the same person or by different people months on in to you being connected to them or years on in with you being in a relationship with them, you cannot keep being in denial and giving them the benefit of the doubt just because you love them. You have to look at the situation and fully accept it for what it is. You really, really need to accept the fact that you are being treated the way that you're being treated because that is how that particular person or people feel about you. If you are being abused physically and verbally on a regular basis by a particular boyfriend, by a particular girlfriend, that is how they feel about you. They are not looking at your well-being. They are not looking at how they're compromising your health, your safety. They don't care how you feel about them being verbally or physically abusive to you. Because if they cared, they would not continue to do it. If you have people in your circle who are disloyal, the littlest disagreement or argument you get into it with them, they cut you off. They stop texting you. They stop calling you. But yet, they can do a bunch of stuff to you and you stick around as the friend. You don't break up with the certain man or woman you're with because you understand, okay, I love this person. I care about them. I want a future with them, so I'm going to overlook certain things. One mistake that a lot of people make is that sometimes certain people out here, we will give people the benefit of the doubt and we will automatically assume or believe that because we are good hearted and how we interact and treat people that automatically they are going to be good to us and interact with us a certain particular way. But I have come to find out that people only treat you and even talk to you the way that they feel about you. Think about every single person that you love. Whether you're deep in love with somebody or whether you have a high level of respect for somebody or whether you genuinely and sincerely care about somebody. Think about how you treat them. Think about how you talk to them. And I'm not talking about just when things are going good. How are you interacting with people and reacting to people in your life when you all bump heads, when you all fall out, when you all don't agree with one another. That is what I'm referring to. It is time for you all to put your foot down and you need to start paying more attention to how people are treating you. So many people, they're looking for signs. I don't know how he really feels about me. I don't know how she really feels about me. I don't know how they really feel about me. All you have to do is pay attention to how you're being treated. How is it that there are some of you all who has friends and every event that goes on in their life, you show up, but when it's your turn, they don't show up for you. 
Why are you going to every friend's engagement? When they get married, when they have a birthday party, when one of their children is on their way to graduate from high school or college and they're throwing their child a trunk party, you're always there. You're the first one at the party or you're the last one to leave. You spend the money, you buying gifts, you bringing food or you helping them to set up and prepare food. You are blasting your friend's business on your Facebook page or on your Instagram page. You're bragging about your friend graduating and receiving their bachelor's degree or their master's degree or their doctorate degree. You're blasting your friends bragging about how they are married, bragging about the money that they make. You are proud when you profess who your friends are. Oh, but when you graduate, when you get a new house, when you get a new car, when you open up a business, when one of your kids graduate or something great happens for them, maybe one of your children just had a child and you gave them a baby shower. These same friends that you have continuously year after year after year after year after year showed up for, they don't show up for you. You better understand, ma'am or sir, that that is how they feel about you. They don't think you that important. You mean to tell me over the course of you being friends with somebody for 5, 10, 15, 20, 30, 40 years that they can't show up for you? Sometimes they, they're never there. Who am I talking to? When you have a need because you've fallen off. Those people who claim you as a friend, they're not showing up. But somebody can call you as the friend and say, hey, I need six or seven hundred. I need twelve hundred dollars from you. I'm short on rent. I'm short on my mortgage. You can show up for them. But when you call them and ask them for a couple of dollars because you need to pay your rent or mortgage, they don't have it. It's not available. They want to question you about what you did with your money or what happened to you. How are you in a relationship, ladies, with a man who says that he loves you? He says that he cares about you, but you keep seeing another woman name pop up in his phone. You keep seeing text messages from different women in his phone. You've seen the naked pictures in that man's phone from different women. Different women are calling his phone and he's leaving out the room. He's sitting in his car to talk, leaving out the house. He's whispering. He's guarding his phone with his dear life when it rings. He doesn't want to answer certain questions about certain female friends that he has. He's keeping them a secret. But yet, he can question you about certain numbers in your phone and you tell him and you tell him the truth. Oh, this is so-and-so. You can leave your phone unlocked and he can grab your phone when he gets ready. But when you come at him about his phone, he gets an attitude. He's treating you that way because that's how he feels about you. He doesn't have the same level of respect for his relationship that you do, which is why you respect him and the relationship more, but he doesn't respect you. Ladies, pay attention. He's never taking you out on dates. Him spending time with you is smoking a blunt or drinking or you all having sex. But you want to spend time asking him about his childhood, about his parents, about what he likes to do. You're trying to go on vacation. You're trying to genuinely bond with him, but he closes you off. He blocks that out. He's doing that because that's how he feels about you. You're not important to him. He's not really looking at you as a woman he's going to have in his future. He's not looking at you as a woman that he's going to marry. Pay attention. Man, it's a woman out here. She doesn't want to be seen with you in public. Oh, but when she wants money, when she wants some type of help in her household, she hits you up. Some women, they use you too, men, for sex. They don't want you as a husband. They don't want you as a boyfriend. But when it's time and they want to get intimate, oh, they call you. They're not willing to do nice things for you, but they expect you to do everything for them. But when your birthday comes or when you celebrating something, they don't care. Fellas, play, pay attention. So many of you, you allow people to talk to you any type of way. You allow certain family members to call you out of your name. You get into an argument, you bump heads with somebody in particular. They want to call you a B. They want to get up in your face. 
They want to trash talk you. They want to hit below the belt and talk about certain shortcomings and struggles you've had in your life. They want to keep reminding you of your past. They might not even understand everything about your past, but they're hearing he said, she said from other family members that may have had an issue with you or ex-husbands or ex-wives. And now they think they know everything about you and now they talking crazy to you. And you allow it because they're family. They're your flesh and blood. People only do what you allow. It's time out to stop giving people the benefit of the doubt. I'm not saying don't be forgiven. I'm not saying don't work certain things out. I'm not saying don't do any of this. But you have got to be careful with allowing people to treat you and talk to you and be dismissive of your feelings and what you're going through. Just because you love them or just because there is a lot of history between you and that particular person or those people. People will sometimes stick around and stay in your life because they know they can talk to you any type of way. They know they can do particular things to you and you're not going to go anywhere. They know you're not going to cut them off. Pay attention to how people treat you because the way people talk to you, the way people interact with you, the way people are not supportive of you and they don't show up for you in your time of need, that is how people feel about you. When you are important to people, they check on you. Look in your phone and ask yourself this week alone, today is Friday. I don't even know the exact date. It's June something. Well, what's, what's today's date? June whatever. Um, what's today? I think it's the 24th. Is it the 24th or the 25th? But it's Friday. Look in your phone today and see how many people called you and checked on you this week. Who was it? Was it the same person? Because if it was the same person that's in your text thread and they reaching out and they asking how you're doing, do you need anything? Are you okay? They're doing that because you're crossing their mind. They care about you. They want to know how you feel. How many people have checked on you? I'm not talking about people that called your phone and they asked you for something. I'm not talking about people that's been calling you on the phone asking you, can you send them a couple of dollars? I'm not talking about you asking people uh, or people calling you asking you, can you come to an engagement they're having because they expect you to give them money or buy them a gift? I'm talking about people that has literally this week alone. I'm not going to even ask you to look at the entire month so far. Just this week alone, how many people have text messaged you, sent you an email, or called you just to ask how you are doing? Start paying attention to that. If you go silent for a couple of weeks at a time and you have not been around certain family members or you have not called them, how many of them have reached out to you? Start paying attention to that. That's what this whole video message is about. Some of you are, you are way too old to continue to still allow people to stay connected to you and you are too old to still allow people to stay in your life or you're still in a relationship with them knowing that they are not treating you well. Somebody that loves you for real, they're going to respect you even in anger. They're not going to resort to calling you out of your name. Somebody that respects you and somebody that cares about you and they care about your feelings, they're going to be extra careful with what they say to you and how they talk to you. If you are connected to anybody that continues to bring up your past, they're talking about the type of man or woman that you used to be, they don't care about you. Because somebody that loves you understands that you are not a picture of perfection. You are under construction. Humans are constantly evolving and changing. But if you overlook your relationship and every single time there is a disagreement, you being talked about and your past is being thrown in your face, the most vile, embarrassing things that you have come out of. 
a friend in your life or a boyfriend or a girlfriend or a particular family member. They continue to remind you of those things that you have come from or the mistakes that you have made. And some of the stuff that they throw in your face, it happened years ago. It could have been five years ago. It could have been 10 years ago. It could have been 15 years ago, but they absolutely refuse to look at the man or woman you are today, right now in this moment, in 2023. They're talking about stuff you did in 2010. They're talking about stuff you did in 2015. They're talking about stuff you did in 1997, 1998, 1999, 2001, 2005. They're talking about how you used to walk and talk or what they heard about you back in 2007. But they refuse to accept, honor, or respect the man or woman that you are today. They refuse to accept or respect or honor the changes you have made right before their eyes they refuse to acknowledge it they have nothing good to say about you and every time they interact with you is something negative that's how they feel about you why are you all not all of you all but why are some of you all still hanging with people who just cannot let go of what you came out of they still want to talk about the type of man or the type of woman you used to be a long time ago. You are not even a quarter of the man or woman that you used to be. And they continue to talk about it. How can somebody say they love you and they're calling you out of your name? They're making you cry. They're going and talking about you like a dog behind your back to other people. And you will keep this person around because you're saying well I love them you talking about their childhood trauma you talking about them going through things but wait aren't you going through something don't you have a certain level of trauma having horrible things happen to you in your life but you still make it your business to treat those you come in contact with with love and honor and respect if they did make a mistake and you got hurt in the midst of them making a mistake, you let it go. You're only focusing on the future and what's happening now. You're not going back to what they did two, three, four, five, ten years ago. That's what this whole video message is about. It's time out. You all, I'm sorry, but you can't keep giving people the benefit of the doubt. You always forgive because God tells us to forgive. You always love, but you do not have to stay connected to people that are verbally abusive to you, that are mentally and emotionally abusive to you. You don't have to stay connected to people that are physically abusive to you. You don't have to still have people connected to you that are not supportive of you. You don't have to. That's what I'm telling you all. You got to change. You, go, you guys got to change this stuff. Stop allowing these people to treat you any type of way and talk to you any type of way. You need to know your worth. You, you demand respect. You make people honor you. Especially if you are honoring people and respecting them. I don't care how long you've been with that man. I don't care if you've been with that man 10, 15, 20 years. Now see, I'm not talking about married couples because that's another conversation. That's another conversation. And I'm talking about those of you who are in friendships and relationships and people don't know how to treat you. You're confused about where you stand with them. You don't need to be confused any longer. People treat you based off how they feel about you. You just don't want to accept it. You just don't want to pay attention to it. You keep giving too many chances. Life is short. You need to be happy. You need to have people that love you for real. People that care about you and they want to support you for real. Not when it's beneficial to them. Not when it's convenient to them. That's the video message. Well, guys, it's time for me to go. Because I have some other things to do. 
the Lord willing, I will be back with another video message. If any one of you have been offended by anything I spoke about in this video message, it's okay. It's all right. I'm not worried about it. I am not concerned because I know you will forgive me in the morning.